What's up, y'all? Hoping all is well. So with Microsoft recently acquiring Bethesda, a lot of people who only game on Sony platforms are wondering if they're going to be getting these Bethesda games like Elder Scrolls 6 or Starfield or the future Doom games. So I would like to share my thoughts on that in this video. But before we begin, please like and subscribe and hit me up with any questions in the comment section. Let's get started. So I've been reading a lot of articles on several gaming websites as well as watching, you know, YouTube channels cover the same subject. And it seems a lot of people really, really think that Xbox is going to be re releasing these major franchises like Elder Scrolls, Doom, or Starfield on PS5. And I'm here to tell you that I highly, highly doubt Xbox would do that. And if you've been paying attention to Microsoft and listening to what their long-term goals are, you would understand but let's get more into that right now xbox doesn't care about you know charging 70 dollars for their games and getting you know the profit off that or you know using the playstation install base to help recoup the money they do not care about that what this is what this acquisition does it's a perfect perfect incentive for people to subscribe to game pass which is their long term goal they want to get as many people subscribed to game pass as possible and you gotta think of it like this. Let's say by the time these games come out, let's say the PS5 has an install base of 50 million or, or more, right? That will not equal to the billions of people who own a mobile device where they can just subscribe to Game Pass and be able to play these games on their Android devices, their tablet, PC, or on, or on Xbox consoles. Releasing these big games on the PS5 or Nintendo completely eliminates the reason for somebody to subscribe to Game Pass and with games like Elder Scrolls, they have years and years of like um, long-term fans just built up who need this game, who need to play this game. So if you want the best experience for the Elder Scrolls, you're gonna need an Xbox Series X or a PC. And if you don't have a console, that's perfectly fine because Xbox is looking out for you through Game Pass on mobile, on Android devices. And Phil Spencer recently said that they're, they're gonna find a way to get Game Pass, xCloud on iOS, like they have to, because the iOS base is insane and they would need that to for xCloud to succeed. And I don't want to come off as anti-Sony because I'm not anti-Sony at all. PlayStation has some amazing games, but would we even be having this conversation if Sony acquired Bethesda? We all know that if Sony acquired Bethesda, there is no way Xbox or Nintendo would ever see these games. So if you only plan on owning a PlayStation 5 this generation, but really want to play, you know, Elder Scrolls or other Bethesda games, you can get an Xbox Series S as your perfect companion console. For $300, you can play, you know, all the major Xbox exclusives, and you have your PS5 to play like the big first party exclusive like God of War. And I feel like that'll those two go hand in hand. Or if you don't want to own, you know, more than one console, you can just stream through xCloud, even though I would be wary of the latency. Me personally, I haven't been able to test it because I have an iOS device, but with anything streaming, you know, streaming for your games, there has to be some sort of latency. From, but from what I hear, it's getting better and better. Now, with all that being said, I'd like to reiterate, these are just my thoughts and what I think is gonna happen. But again, I highly, highly doubt you'll see these games on the PS5 or Nintendo. But I can be completely wrong, and Xbox would want to release this on PS5, and that'll be awesome for PS5 owners because you guys won't miss out on the probably one of the biggest games of this generation or the upcoming generation, The Elder Scrolls. And I would really like to know, like, for all you um, people who only game on Sony, does this make you want to get an Xbox? Or how does this make you feel? Like, Because I know Sony does this all the time, and... For the most part, I don't really care because um, I have a PlayStation as well, but sometimes it, it gets like a little like anti-consumer, like with the Marvel's Avengers thing. I think that's that was a very scummy move. But um, what do you feel? Does this make you want to get an Xbox? Please let me know in the comment section below. All right, y'all, that wraps it up for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Please let me know your thoughts and please, please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.